so depressed when I can't seem to get so what's happening with the uh, welcome back to the channel for those of you that are returning but um if you're new welcome welcome back home so today we have dun, 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 dun. we have something called southern girls right today i was in my feelings period point blank I was in my feelings and so I was like, I'm about to go get me a cupcake. I didn't know what kind of cupcake I wanted. I need to do my hair, huh? <sighs> it's hot. But I didn't know what kind of cupcake I wanted. My baby ate one. Low key, listen. Okay, I'm not trying to throw no shade, Southern girl, okay? But I got a cake, a yellow cake with chocolate icing. That's my favorite kind of cake, right? And when I cut the cake, the cake wasn't done. Like, I just threw that in the trash. Because I said, you know what? I'm not about to raise no sand. But that was a negative for me. Like, how the cake wasn't done. Where did they do that at? Anyways, we have this lemon. Oh, my God. Look at that. We have this lemon cupcake. Don't mind my baby. She on her iPad playing Roblox. I don't know what's so intriguing about that game. But anyways, then we have sweet potato cupcake. I'm a little nervous about this. I see like the little yams and stuff. We'll see about that. Then we have, you can't go wrong with this, baby. You cannot go wrong with double chocolate. Look at that. Look like my baby tried to eat some of it. Or maybe not, I don't know. But double chocolate, check that out. Is that a thumbnail? No. <laughs> Is that how they do it? But yeah, so... I'm going to eat one of these cupcakes because, like I said, I was in my feelings today. And, um, you know, I decided to stop by and grab me a cupcake. It is what it is. Don't judge me. I want to say what old boy you saying. Don't judge me. Judge yourself. Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? Anyhow, look at this cupcake. My mouth is watering. Mm. And you know what? I just came from the dentist yesterday. I really shouldn't be eating this. Yo, I'm getting braces. And so I got some work that I had to get done before I get, get my braces back on. But, oh my God, stuff in my head. But um, I had to get feelings in my top teeth. How do you get feelings in... Listen. <sighs> it was not painful but afterwards like everything that touched it it was like real sensitive so i couldn't drink nothing the air it was like all bad so after i eat this i'm gonna brush my teeth because i am not trying to have no more cavities um i got like two extractions i need to get done before i sign the dotted line for my braces or whatever but you know it's all about self-care at this point you know um i ain't even went into my story yet i'll say that for a later day um i probably won't even share that you know i'm just focused on healing healing growing getting these eyebrows done because baby they looking rough and ragged i had a hair appointment yesterday but I couldn't go like after I went to the dentist yesterday morning I was out couldn't do nothing like I didn't want to do nothing like I couldn't fathom sitting in traffic trying to get to Anaheim to get my hair done so epic fail anyways let me take a let me take a bite of this let me see mmm mmm it's kind of rich mmm 
probably need some mm, some milk but I got some water you can't tell I used to suck my finger so well not used to I still do but I'm gonna have to stop that because I can't pay all this money again for braces like my teeth really used to be jacked up like I mean my open bite was open and so when I got braces the first time they kind of closed it but um anyways yeah so how y'all been doing um it's been a lot going on on these YouTube streets. I don't I can't eat this chocolate. It's too much. It's been a lot going on on these YouTube streets. A lot. A lot. And I don't want to say I'm here for it cuz I'm I mean I'll be there sometimes like but it be so much going on. It's hard to keep up. I mean, every day, it's a different debacle. Every day. It's like, man, can we move to something else? Like, can we all just get along? Ain't that what they say? Can we all just get along? It just be too much, you know? And I be really, I like some of these content creators, like, I rock with a lot of them. Not a lot, but a few. You know? Um, so, you know, I support their channels. But sometimes, it is be so much that I have to, like, get away. Because if you're not careful, man... Basically, what I'm saying is what you feed your, your, your spirit, you get my drift. Um, God knows I have to be very aware of what I'm feeding it because the stuff that I'm going through in my own personal life, I don't have room to entertain, um, such unhealthy conversations. So it's only so much I could take before I shut down and move to another video. I'm in heaven, if y'all can't tell. Mm. Mm. Heaven must be like this that cupcake was really good I'm not gonna hold you I didn't need it but it is what it is like I said I was in my feelings and my feelings got the best of me you know and I have to remind myself as I remind myself and I remind you all we are powerless over people places and things you get what I'm saying? The only person that you can control is you. The only person that you can help is you. If you help yourself, everybody else to come after that, that's a blessing. You know, because once you get yourself together, like, you the GOAT. You know, and anybody else that you you know lies that you affect or you know help change or transition like that they just blessings you know um but the real person the real one that you can affect change on is only you i'm speaking to myself because when i'm pointing at you i got a couple of more pointing back at me and god knows i am a work in progress you know, I thank God that I am not where I used to be because, baby, I was a piece of work, I tell you. And, and I'm allowing God to 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 keep me in a place where 
I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning how to live right. I'm learning how to live holy. I'm learning how to die to the flesh daily. Like, man, do you know what it means to die to your flesh daily? And this flesh within us, no good. It's not good at all. You get what I'm saying? So many times I want to just act in the flesh, you know, and just boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. But, um, nah, it ain't even worth it, you know? Because I feel like it's so much greater, so much better in store for my life that no matter what the circumstances look like, no matter what the situation looks like, although it seems dark and the night is just dawning. The Bible says that weeping may endure. I was listening to a message the other day. I'm not going to hold y'all for too much longer. But I was listening to a message today. And the, the preacher said weeping may endure for a night. Oh, no, that's the Bible. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, right? But that may. You control how long you weep. I control how, listen, I've been weeping for the last six months. Well, going on six months, you know, and I had to hear that man say, listen, baby, I done cried my last tear last night because it ain't worth it. Like it is not worth it. Um, and so weeping may, you determine how long you stay in the may, you know, um, but the promise is that joy will come in the morning. And so it didn't say it might come. Maybe. We'll see. But it said it will come in the morning. And another great point he, he, he mentioned or he pointed out before I let y'all go. Is that we associate the morning with sunrise, right? But he said that twelve oh one is morning, even though it's still dark, even even though it looks like it's night, it's still the morning. And so, joy don't have to come all the way at six, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock in the morning. Joy can come at two, one, twelve in the midnight hour. God can give you joy, unspeakable joy. And listen, I am waiting to have that joy. I'm waiting to have that peace, that path, all understanding. Because when you have that peace, whatever the devil meant for evil, you know, you can just let it roll off of you. You know, and know and trust and to believe that God will take care of it. You know, um, so... As I shared that with y'all, I was just reiterating it to myself and within my own spirit because that's the word I'm going to go to sleep on tonight is knowing that weeping may endure for a night. Listen, my night is over. Okay, baby? Like, I can't keep crying over spilled milk. I cannot keep crying over broken promises i cannot keep crying over you know heartache heartbreak you know um you know uh i can't keep crying over wayward children because baby listen my teenager i could just wring him by the neck but that's another story you know um but even through it all, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. And so just, 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 just keep your faith in him and know that God will, he can and he will, um, in his time. Uh, so yeah, you know, thank you for joining me tonight with this little cupcake. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you made it this, uh, far to the end of the video, um, you know, let me know by, you know, uh, dropping down in the comments and saying, 
you know, um, what you grateful for. Let me know what you grateful for. I'm going to tell you what I'm grateful for. I am grateful for a sound mind. We take that for granted. But it could be here today and gone tomorrow. So I am truly grateful that I have woken up every morning so far in my right mind. Um, you know. So yeah, y'all, thank you for stopping by. Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. And um, until the next time, y'all stay true, y'all stay blessed, and be. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get.